Hello peeps, today we'll take a look at the best vlogging camera in the market. I made this list based on my favorite, and I'm trying to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the up-to-date prices and more information about these excellent items, you can check out the link in the description. Best overall, Fujifilm X-S10. Arguably the best all-around mirrorless camera is at this price point, and is adept at many different shooting types, including vlogging. It's not the cheapest or smallest option in this guide, but it's our current top pick for video creators in terms of quality and bang for your buck. Pair it with the XC15 to 45mm kit lens, and you have a superb vlogging setup. Inside the XS10 is the tried and tested combination of a 26.1 megapixel X-Trans CMOS 4 sensor and X-Processor 4, which we've already seen in the Fujifilm X-T4. It shoots uncropped, 4K, 30p video has in-body image stabilization to smooth out handheld jitters, and a very angle screen that flips around to face you. The XS10 is also packed with other useful features, such as full HD recording at 240p for a 10x slow motion effect, F-log recording, and the option to output 4 to 2 to 2 10-bit video. On top of all that, you also have some fine retro styling and an excellent, comfortable grip, which makes it a great hybrid option for shooting stills. Considering all the features you get, it's also available at a pretty wallet-friendly price. But be warned, its wide range of great X-series lenses may prove hard to resist. Best Compact, Sony ZV-1. This is the most powerful pocket vlogging camera you can buy right now. It takes the best video features of the Sony RX100 series, including its class-leading autofocus system, and combines them with design tweaks that make it ideal for shooting YouTube videos at home or on the move. Its main strength is the combination of a bright 24 to 70 mm f over 1.8 to 2.8 lens, which is more significant than today's smartphones, makes it easy to shoot high quality vlogs with pleasing background blur and consistent focus. The inclusion of a 3.5 mm microphone port means it's relatively easy to add good quality audio to match your videos. At the same time, a hot shoe lets you mount accessories like a shotgun mic or LED light without needing a bracket to support them. This is particularly useful because while the ZV-1's three-capsule internal microphone is an improvement over the built-in mics found in the RX100 series and other compact cameras, it still falls short of offering audio that matches the quality of its video. You do at least get a windshield bundled with the camera, which is essential for when you're shooting in breezy conditions. Best Action Camera, GoPro Hero 10 Black. With the same small sensor, screens, and shell as the GoPro Hero 9 Black before it, the Hero 10 Black doesn't reinvent the action camera, but it does offer a more refined experience than its predecessor, making it the most versatile action camera available to adventurous bloggers. A snappier touchscreen interface and menu system makes it easier to use, while the new GP2 processor ensures polished performance. The chip boots 5K frame rates to 60p for slicker vlogs, while 4K at up to 120 frames per second unlocks sharper slow-mo footage for captivating cutscenes. Stabilization also gets upgraded with HyperSmooth 4.0 and Horizon leveling on board for supremely steady footage. Live streaming is still subject to limitations, but you can now stream with HyperSmooth 4.0, add a hydrophobic lens cover to its established endurance skills, and the GoPro Hero 10 Black becomes the clear winner if you need top-notch video in tricky conditions even if budget rivals offer better value. Best Handheld, DJI Pocket 2. We are big fans of the original DJI Osmo Pocket, but this sequel fixes a lot of its limitations and makes it the best compact option for solo filmmakers. The Sony ZV-1 trumps it for video quality, but if you tend to shoot a lot of walk and talk style clips to the camera, then the Pocket 2's combination of a three-axis gimbal and solid face tracking could make it more appealing. Compared to the Osmo Pocket, the DJI Pocket 2 brings a new larger sensor, a brighter lens, improved microphones, and a wider field of view, which means you don't have to hold it out at arm's length when talking to the camera. Plonk it down on a tripod base or surface, and it'll turn to keep you in the shot as you walk around in front of it. Despite that larger sensor, the Pocket 2 isn't the ideal camera for low light situations or high contrast scenes. Still, it's a very nice upgrade on using your phone in a gimbal. And the improved four mic audio setup means you get some very decent sound quality to match. 
Best Splurge, Fujifilm X-T4. If video quality is your priority, then it's hard to beat the Fujifilm X-T4 as a vlogging all-rounder. Sure, some full-frame cameras can still edge it for dynamic range and high ISO performance, but it's not a huge gap. And the X-T4 offers a smaller overall setup that's ideal for travel. One of the best hybrid shooters around, the X-T4 brings significant upgrades to the X-T3, including in-body image stabilization, a bigger battery, and improved autofocus. The latter is quick and reliable for both stills and video, though you'll preferably want to use it with some of Fujifilm's more recent glass, like the XF16 to 80mm f4 ROIS for the best results. With a microphone input, front-facing screen, weather sealing, and the ability to shoot cinema 4K videos up to 60 frames per second, the X-T4 is a great all-around vlogging option for those who want a camera that can take care of both their stills and video needs. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.